everybody, it's Tamika, and I wanted to share with you um, some ideas that I had about how to alter these glassine bags. I recently picked up these glassine bags, and they were a great deal. They were found at a garage sale, and she had a huge stack of them for $1.50. So I thought, I'm going to grab them because they'll be good for swaps and other treats that I want to give. But I'm just going to find some different ways to alter them or dress them up. So um, here I'm sharing with you some ways to alter these glassine bags and some quick tutorials or how to's. It won't, I won't be before you long. Um, but um, these are some, um, there are some really easy ideas. So you'll be uh, able to do these really quick if you need to package up or swap or something. So I'm going to briefly show you the end result. So I think I counted seven. Um, there's a couple duos or different types in one section of the video, like two different ways, but I think there's just seven ways. But um, here we did some doodling and um, some other embossing techniques and just different things that you can do with the um, glassine bag. So hopefully you will stay tuned and try these items out. And um, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you is um, something super simple. And all of these are actually really simple. Um, you can go f as far um, off of this track as you want to. I'm just trying to give you like the simple ideas of it and just, you can let your imagination run wild from there. Um, the first thing is embossing. Simply embossing um, your glassing bag gives it a nice texture feel and it just takes it to the next level. And I just picked standard um, A2 size embossing folders. And um, with the fact that these are a little bit bigger than that, all you have to do is take your embossing folder, try to get one that's not um, layout specific, like it doesn't have to be vertical or horizontal. So I put it, I place my card, uh, my embossing folder right on the edge, and then I run it through my Vagabond. And then I take it out where the pattern ends, and then I match it up to the other side. So right, like right around here, making sure it's even and lined up as best as I can, and run it through again. And then there we go. We'll end up with something like this. Now that looks a whole lot different, not a whole lot, but it looks different from just you throwing something in a regular bag, then embossing it, giving it a little cute texture. You can always do, you know, an embossing folder that has like get well soon or some flowers for sympathy or something on here, some hearts for Valentine, make it make that um, Valentine gift even you know go the extra mile so that's an idea using your um, embossing folder of course you can wrap it or top it any kind of way the example that I have is just a bag topper there's a die for this I use my silhouette cameo and you know and I and there's a uh, tag topper die I'll put a link in the description box to the file that I use for that and you know you can reshape that as much as you want if you have a cutting machine if not just fold over some paper and put a cute little decoration on here and I just wrapped up some die cuts you know like so if I was giving somebody some die cuts this is what it would look like super cute and easy they're like oh that is so cute look at that really easy and it took you seconds you can also do like your basic doily so you would fold over your bag as low as you'd want it to go and boom fold over your doily you can always add some lace or something a ribbon or something up here but there you go that takes it just that extra step so um, yeah you can emboss your glassine bags another way you can alter your glassine bag is just by adding pattern paper to it and decorating that part so it's kind of um, masking the glassine bag you can use your plain glassine bag or you can take the embossing bag one step further and layer it on top and have even more texture so either way is great so what I um, what I would do too you can add pattern paper uh, if it's correlating with a card and you're given a gift you can add um, vellum you can even emboss regular vellum and um, you know make a fun pattern on there it's uh, totally up to you so what I'm just gonna do I just added some double-sided tape to this heart embossed vellum and I just add it to the front just like that 
And then you can also add like die cuts. Just layer your items up. This is a die cut that I got um, when I was with um, Audrey and Cheryl when we were going to the Scrapbook Expo. And I thought it was double sided. So that's why that piece in the front is torn off because I thought, not double sided, but I thought this was sticky back. It looks like a sticky back, but it didn't peel off. So um, don't let it go to waste. You can use it. So I'm just going to put that here because it matches my paper. And then stamp, stamp a sentiment. These are all things that if you've been crafting for at least a little bit, you should have on hand. Just take a little stamp, use your stuff at home, put that here. Well, I'm going to put it there because I'm covering that spot. And I'm just going to add some um, a spot of color with this heart. It's a Heidi Swap heart. You're really supposed to run it through your mink and with some foil but I'm gonna use it as is because I like the funky pattern and you were born to sparkle is on there really quick simple bag you can um, when you put your stuff in here really easy fold it over Let's see if I can find something around here and put it here see how cute that is just really simple you're hiding you're masking the bag you've added the extra texture if you're going to use your the one that you emboss it's just one extra step it doesn't take much or you can just use your plain bag so yeah you can um, add paper and decorations to your glassine bag another thing you can do to your glassine bag is stitch just sewing a, stipple, a simple stitch or a zigzag stitch um, adds a lot to your project. So under here, you see I have Prima Flowers. And it's very, look how thin that profile is. Very thin, and I just sewed a zigzag stitch with my sewing machine around the edge. And for this one, I sewed a, I cut it down, sewed a straight stitch, and in here are um, fabric flowers. And then I just added a doily and some paper flowers and a banner at the top. For decoration and it's really really cute now what I did to um, complete the zigzag um, portion is I just simply took my glassine bag and I cut it of course to the size that I want if the as much as I'm cutting is the size that I want it to be I cut everything on all the edges down just a sliver so that I can use the bag you can make two out of these, but I'm using the top half. Then I laid it on top of some pretty pattern paper. Some pattern paper that I know would poke through really, really nicely. And then I cut that down size. And I cut off the extra. And all I did was stitch three sides, shove my flowers in there, and then close up the stitch. Really, really easy. It was, it was super quick. Um, you can punch out a bunch of these and then have those on hand for future use. So, yeah, you can sew on your glassine bags. Another thing that you can do to alter a glassine bag is to play with some die cuts on it. So here I've cut out this flourish embellishment from Cuddlebug. You can cut and emboss this particular um, one but what I did was since it's so large I just um, placed it I can place it right on top of my bag so that's the front of my bag and then I cut the die cut, die cut out in like a festive cute color so what I will do is flip it over to the opposite side and I'm going to do this off camera but I'm going to add some extra strength spray adhesive by Elmer's it was at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to spray the back lightly and then all I have to do you can do this with any of your die cuts of course is lay it right across the top or right on the top rather just smooth it out let it have time to bond and adhere to the die cut uh, to the glassine bag and look how cute that is so simple cute very thin profile 
barely adds anything to it and then you can fill it up with some goodies this would make like a cute little um, if you're doing like Christmas cards I mean you can get some really pretty fun festive paper and stick your cards in there if you want but really cute um, this is so pretty I love love I love this super cute Another thing um, you can do when you're playing with die cuts is actually use um, a die to go through the embossing or go through the glassing bag. So I'm using this um, stamp and cut by Artsy. Um, it's called Thinking of You. And this is the, it's like a top note type. And then you take your glassing bag. And I have a vagabond, so I'll show you my sandwich. You want to open it up all the way. And put your window put your die inside you have to make sure it's smaller than the bag whatever die you're using so um, whatever side you want to be cut face your die cut upward and place it where you want it to be placed so like if I want it to be placed there that's where I'll leave it and then I get my pads and I put them on the top like so just like that and run it through um, my die cutting machine okay and then once you're done just run it through I only have to run it through uh, one time you will get a cutout like this with a little hole in the middle like so see super super cute so you can get a piece of acetate and just apply it to the inside of this bag so I would you can use your ATG tape but um, for this it, I've, yeah, I've used it before and it has stuck but um, just for added security I'm just going to use this double sided tape on here and then you want to apply it course face up because you're going to um, put something in there so you want the acetate to go face up just being careful making sure everything is nice and open for you slide this puppy through to the other side and line it up the best way you can course I'm rushed but just be careful just be careful that way you have a cute little window and that's going to irritate me but if I let it go it'll tear just be careful when you're doing it and then I just happened to cut um, some a, a, a die cut Tim Holtz top notes die cut and I put some Prima frames on there and then that way the recipient can see what's in there you can use a topper or use a doily and make that all super cute but um, that's a quick way you can just have like a little sneak peek into what the item is on the inside super super cute so you can not only add uh, die cuts to your glassine bag but you can actually die cut your glassine bag Another thing you can do to alter your glassing bag is simply just doodle on it. I'm not the best doodler, but I um, found that using like a Sharpie marker in color or even uh, chalk markers in color, you can add a really cute and festive um, border and even add a personal touch. So all I'm doing is making squiggly lines and dots on here. So you can do that and then if you're just giving something to someone and you want to just do a personal message, you can always write, Dear Sylvia, thanks for being there. Or you can just write something really simple in your best handwriting and write for you. And a little heart. Done and done. So when the recipient gets it, so let's just say you're giving them some tags, you just you know put whatever thing you're putting in there, okay? 
and wrap that up. Super cute. Of course, my love, my tag is showing through there, but you get the drift. You can just doodle on it. You can make, you know, make little hearts or send private or send special messages. You guys know. Just doodle. And these chalk markers dry really, really cute. And you don't need anything but a marker and a glassine bag for this. Really cute. And then to close it up, um, just a quick idea. You know, fold it down and then you can punch you know, punch a hole. You can also use a hole punch for this. You don't have to use a copper dial, but this is sitting here. You just punch some holes in there. And then if you're doing that, I would always advise you use a hole reinforcer. Just because, just through experience, I found that if I don't, and I'm definitely not the most careful person when I'm crafting, that um, these holes tear easily, especially when you're threading something um, through. You don't have to use as much as I'm using, but I have 5,000 of these from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna close it with some tool. Let's see how we do this. Tool and or twine. I get the tool from the Dollar Tree and this twine has been with me forever and I think I originally got it from the Dollar Tree in a pack of three. I think it's in the automotive section. You get two craft and a green color. Which I never used a green color um, for crafting but it's there. You can just thread this tool or ribbon or lace or trim whatever you want to thread through here to add like a little closure piece and I wouldn't pick these colors with that ink but I'm just giving you an idea here make it really big and festive so look how cute that is if that was like a cute bow or cute ribbon you can always pick find some little charm or something to hang down here if you want really really cute or you can skip that part all together and um, just add some washi tape so you wouldn't even need this on here you just would simply fold it over and add the washi tape to the back and of course you wouldn't punch your holes or anything but really really easy and fun it's a quick way quick way quick way so um yeah you can alter your glassine bag by adding a ribbon or lace closure along with your eyelets or you can use washi tape and you can doodle and not have to add any extra paper or anything at all the last one i'm going to show you is a little bit more intensive than all of the previous one because it's a couple steps involved but the result is super super cute you can um, ink or stamp your glassine bag so you have your glassine bag here I'm just gonna write uh, use this black paper as my um, base here you have your glassine bag okay you pick whatever side that you're gonna do it on I try to I tend to stay away from the seam so I usually pick the front. All right. So the first layer that I'm going to do, because I'm going to do two layers, I'm using um, this Gorgeous Girl frame, but I'm going to use this Dilusions uh, Couture Collection face. So, I mean, you can mix and match your dies. I'm just going to use this one here. There's three little ladies in here. Okay. So, I'm going to take what I did with my, here it is, take my little lady there and add it to my stamp block. Okay. And I'm going to use uh, Momento Tuxedo Black Ink. 
it stays very well on the glassine bag and then I'm just going to ink that up really well and stamp her on the middle of my bag here just like that really cute okay I'm gonna set this aside and let that dry just a quick second while I prepare this one here and like I said this is a, a gorgeous girl stamp and I'm just using the frame Yes, I know I'm missing a circle there. Doesn't matter. I, I can control it. <laughs> so I'm going to need embossing ink. And I'm going to need embossing powder. So I am just going to ink this up. As best I can. I like to see that I've gotten all the areas. And I'm going to take my glassine bag. And then over that over the top. And press down. Okay. And then I'm going to take my embossing powder. And I'm using gold tinsel. And I'm going to put that around the edges. put that to the side see how that I just like saving my embossing ink um, but I wanted to for sure make sure the frame got in but using that memento ink it still picks up the embossing powder I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna put this back into the jar and this was embossing tinsel and gold by Inka Dinka Do word from the right wise be careful when picking this back up because your big old thumbs can hit it and knock off the powder. But I'm not redoing it. So we're just going to dry this with the heat tool. So this is how it turned out. Super, super cute. I, I love this. Really, really pretty. Like I said, be careful when you're grabbing it back. My fingers were all over this thing. So super cute. Love, love, love. So yeah, you can... Um, ink and emboss on your glassine bag and that actually concludes um, all of the examples that I have for you today so hopefully you will try some of these ways let me know if you do tag me on any of the social media it's in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching like the video if you liked it it's free all right guys I will talk to you at the next video bye